Question 4. 0 0.625 written as a common fraction. What you're doing is converting a decimal to a fraction. So let's see. What you have is 0 0.625. Any number you write is the same as that number divided by 1. So it's 0 0.625 divided by 1. Now, let's convert this directly to a fraction. This looks like a fraction, but we don't want any point in it. Alright? So you must multiply the top, the, new, the numerator, by a certain number. If you multiply by 10, you would essentially move the point one place to the right and you get 6.25. But again, we, we, we don't want to deal with the point. If you multiply the top by 100, you would move the point one, two places to the right. But you would still have 62 point. You would have 62.5. You still have to deal with the point. Suppose you multiply it by 1,000. You would move the point one, two, three places to the right. So you have just 625. Like 625.0, but you don't need the point anymore. So what you would have up here is 625. So you don't have to deal with the point anymore. But the thing is, you multiply the number by a thousand. You get the number a thousand times larger. What you need to do is compensate by dividing by a thousand. So whatever is below the denominator, whatever is below here, must be multiplied by a thousand. And basically, you get back the same size number. If you multiply by a thousand and divide by a thousand, and look at it too. What are you doing when you multiply by a thousand over a thousand? It's really multiplying by one. Because a thousand into a thousand is one, a thousand into a thousand is one. So really, it's like multiplying by one. So the number will look different, but it's the same size. So on a here, one time a thousand is a thousand. So basically, you have a fraction now. The only thing that is that you need to do some work in simplifying it. So what you really have is 625 divided by 1000. Now, you, I know you can divide it up directly by 25 or 125. But let, let me just take time here. Um, let's divide this by 5. 5 can go into each of them. And if I divide by 5, 5 into 6 goes 1 time, leaving 1. 5 into 12, well, 5 into 10 is 2. So 5 into 12 is 2. Leave a remainder of 2. 5 into 25, 5. So up here I have 125, 5 into 1000. Well, 5 into 10 is 2, and you have the two zeros, so it's 200. But you can still, you can still simplify it further. 5 into 125 is what? 5 into 12 is 2 times, remainder 2, 5 into 25, 5. So up here, I have 25. Down here, 5 into 200. Well, 5 into 20 is 4, and you add it 0. So, it's 40, 25 over 40, but I can still cancel down further. 5 into 25 is 5, 5 into 40, you know, 5, 8 is 40, so 5 into 40 is 8. So, the answer is 5, 8. So, the answer for 4 is B.